Hey, I'm Melanie from Female Fitness Systems and today I'm going to be showing you a fun little glute workout with some exercises you've probably not seen before. I'm going to show you some home options for those of you who don't train at a gym. If you want some help with your training, I have some awesome online training programs. I'm going to leave a link to my programs in the description of this video and you can pop over to my website and check them out. Don't hesitate to message me if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you catch future videos from me. So this workout is really going to make your glutes burn. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. The first exercise in this workout is the banded side squats on a Smith machine. Lately, I haven't been going to the gym as much and I've been playing around with my Smith machine and this is one of the exercises I came up with. When you're doing these, you're definitely going to want a pad for the bar because it's going to sit on your shoulder and you want to get your stationary leg right under the bar because otherwise these aren't going to feel right if you're standing too far away from the bar and the Smith machine. You also need to make sure you're sitting back into the squat. So think about your bottom pushing back rather than your knees pushing forward. With the leg that's stepping out, make sure you're putting pressure against the band so it doesn't pull your knee into a knock knee position. Keep good squat form. Then the way you make these feel really hard is to stay low and focus on sinking slowly with the stationary leg and making the glute on that side do all of the work. I did these with my clients this past week and everyone felt a bit awkward the first time they tried them, but they figured them out after the first round. So just stick with them and don't worry if your first time trying them feels weird. If you don't have a Smith machine or if you train at home, you can do regular banded squats. You can also do the regular banded squats hanging onto something for balance and to help you focus on the glutes even more. In this workout, I supersetted the banded squats with some hip thrusts with my feet elevated on a platform. So this is a little twist on the regular hip thrusts. I'll put the sets and reps for this workout in the description of this video rather than try to explain it all here. So if you want to know exactly what I did, you can check that out after watching. This is a good variation on the hip thrust and often means you can feel your glutes working even more, especially if you focus on squeezing really hard at the top. Sometimes I make the platform even higher than I'm showing you here in this video, which means that my hips are higher than my upper body at the top of each rep, and that really gets my glutes. You need to make sure you don't just go through the motions with these. Keep your mind focused on your glutes the whole time, move slowly, and pause and squeeze at the top of each rep. You can increase the intensity of this exercise by adding a push out against the band at the top of each rep as well. I'm showing you that here now. After supersetting the banded side squats and the hip thrusts, I did some glute kickbacks. You may have seen me do these on this channel if you've watched any of my other videos, but I always do some sort of kickbacks in my glute workouts. And here, all I have is a Smith machine, so that's what I did in this workout. Doing them on a Smith machine is a bit more tricky, but once you figure out how to unlatch the bar, this is a pretty cool exercise. Make sure you focus on pushing the bar up high enough to give your glute a good squeeze and really pause and squeeze it hard but make sure you don't come up so high that you get an arch in your back because you'll just end up with a sore lower back. Make sure you're pushing through your heel rather than your midfoot and that will also help activate your glutes. At the gym, you can always do kickbacks on a cable instead or you might be lucky enough to have a good kickback machine. At home, you can do single leg glute bridges instead. When I'm doing single leg glute bridges, I prefer elevating my feet on something because I think the extra range of motion just makes these feel better. Move slowly when you're doing these and make sure you really focus on squeezing your glute, not just at the top, but keep your glute engaged the whole way through the movement. These shouldn't be super easy if you really focus on what you're doing and making your glute do the work. After the glute kickbacks, I did a circuit of step-ups, 
banded side steps and abductors, going through each of the three exercises without a break between them. You could do this little circuit three to four times or even five if you're up for a really big challenge. When I'm doing step ups, I use a high bench or a box and I also like to do them up against a wall or here I'm going to show you with the bench pushed up against the Smith machine. The reason I do that is because I like to just very lightly steady myself at the top of each rep. I find this helps me isolate my glutes better because I have more control and I can move slower. When doing step ups, you want to use your glutes rather than your knees and your quads. To do that, make sure your foot is fully on the bench and keep your weight on the heel that's on the bench. Push through that heel as you come up. You also want to make sure that your knee doesn't come too far forward, so your knee really shouldn't be pushing over your toes. Try not to push off the back foot. Use the front leg and especially that glute to pull you up. The other thing you should do is control your descent. Don't just plop back down. Try to use your glute to lower you slowly. In between sets of step ups, I did side steps and abductors and tried not to rest at all. When doing the side steps, you can put the band around your ankles or your knees. It just depends on which feels better. Personally, I think having the band around your knees really hits your glutes well and it feels a bit nicer than doing them with the band around your ankles. But in my experience, often my clients don't connect very well with their glutes when they're doing the side steps with the band around their knees and so I get them to move the band to their ankles and then that makes the exercise feel better for them. So just do what works for you. The key with side steps is to keep mentally engaged with your glutes because it's really easy to go through the motions with these and not feel them working. Make sure you keep good tension on the band the whole time. It should never go slack. These should actually be really hard if you do them right. Immediately after doing side steps, I did some banded abductors. To do these, sit on the very edge of a bench, place the band just above your knees, and then push out against it. I like to roll onto the edges of my feet each time I push out because I think that helps me activate my glutes even more. Again, don't just go through the motions with these. With each rep, you should be pausing for at least a second to give those glutes a really good squeeze and try to keep your glutes engaged the whole time, even as you're bringing your knees back in. One thing I like to do when I'm doing circuits like this is to increase the reps each round. So in this workout, I actually increase the reps with the side steps and the abductors every time I did the circuit. Remember, I've left the exact sets and reps in the notes in the description of this video, which you can check out after watching. I've also left a link to my website so you can have a look at my online programs if you want some help with your training and nutrition. And depending on when you watch this video, you might also be able to check out my advanced training course for women, which will be releasing mid 2022. Leave me questions or comments below the video. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.